Las Vegas is being lit up by an exceptional sporting competition. Five of the very best players from either side of the Atlantic are competing for the Moscone Cup. One team is hoping to make it six wins in a row. The other out to reverse that trend and make home advantage count. It's Europe against the USA in the party poker Moscone Cup. It's the second day of competition and plenty to contemplate. The day started with something for the home fans to cheer about, a win for Justin Bergman and Skylar Woodward. But Mike DeShane failed to keep the momentum going as he threw away a lead over Alvin Ocean. Europe were back in front. Two veterans hoped to keep the Americans in the race, but the combined experience of Duel and Van Boning was not enough against the English duo of Appleton and Boyd. Europe now with a healthy two-point gap in the overall score. The burden for success and failure rested with our next two players, Skylar Woodward for Team USA and Carl Boys for Europe. There was plenty to talk about, but in the end, it was Europe who walked away with the point. There is now just one match left in this session, and it features Mike DeShane and Shane Van Boning for the USA against Darren Appleton and Nick Vandenberg. Commentary for this match, Jerry Forsythe and Jay Helford. We got a lag here for their first break. Good lag by Shane. It's close. Team Europe. Team Europe to break. Commanding lead right now, 6-3 ahead. Last match of the day. This is kind of a must win for Team USA. Race to five alternate breaks. Set it out, and please. Darren Appleton about to get us started. You're up to break. The one ball goes into the side pocket. Nine ball almost followed it in. And the two ball is out in the clear. There you saw the one ball going into the side pocket. And the two ball is out in the open. It can be slid right into the side or you can play a safe. This is not going to be an easy ball for Deshane to hit. Shane has to come off two rails to hit this ball, and he does Good make hit. the hit. Turned out rather well for Mr. DeShane. Wow, what a tough result for the European side. Tension cold. Appleton wants to hit the left side of the, the two ball as you are viewing the table. He's going two rails out of the corner. Yeah. You know, even if he hits it, Jerry, he might give up a shot. It's going to be hard to play safe off this ball. Nice hit. Yeah, but like you said, Jay, he's given up a shot. A shot that provides position to the three. Well, if USA wants to have any chance in this Moscone Cup this year, they must win this match. They do not want to go into day three down seven to three. Yeah. 
Nice shot by Shane. Yes, DeShane now has an easy path up to the four. And if he gets in fairly straight to it, he can just draw back a little bit for the shot on the five. Now Shane's going to have to either kill this ball off the side rail or go back and forth across. Oh, he's missed the ball. The nerves have been showing on Mr. Van Boning this week. It has not been his best performance. You would not expect him to miss that shot. Bad Man. start in this first game for USA. This is a little tricky here for Darren to get back on the six ball. Five ball is down. Look out. Does he get past the seven? I think so. Vandenberg to deposit the six into the corner. He'll leave Darren with this seven in the side. I don't know if Darren's got the right angle. He needs to slide down to the right. He wants to be pretty straight on this eight ball. Yeah, but I don't think he's going to try that. This will do. Yeah, he slid over about a foot. That was enough. Nick will just slow roll this ball. Kind of like that. First blood, Team Europe. Advantage, Europe, one to nothing in our final race to five. They're already enjoying a huge 6-3 lead in the tournament. Welcome back to Vegas for the final match on day two. It's a familiar story in the Moscone Cup. Europe ahead, courtesy of Darren Appleton and Nick Vandenberg. This is now the second. Mike DeShane and Shane Van Boning at the table. European captain Marcus Shemont talking to his boys. DeShane and Shane are talking among themselves. You can see the look on Van Boning's face. He is not at all happy with the way he has performed on the table. Kind of a blank stare right now. Shane has had a great career so far, Jerry, but this Moscone Cup has been his bugaboo. Yeah, he gets snake bit here. Thank you, Rack 2. USA to break, trailing by one rack. Settle down, please. Thank you. One ball misses the side pocket. And it's another dry break. I think. No, they made a ball. OK. DeShane probably will roll up against the three, freeze the cue ball against it, and send the one ball to the other side. Oh, he may have left this. He didn't get near close enough to that three ball. Failed safety. Yeah, Nick shooting straight at the one ball here. Two ball went down on the break, so the three ball is up. Well, Shane missed that ball in the first game, and then Mike missed this safety in the second game. 
And it could be two games gifted to Europe already. Well, that's one way to play it. And it got him a great result. Settle down a bit, please. Yep. You know, Jerry, when the other team is making mistakes, it really gives you a lot of confidence. Well, you, you feel like even if you make an error, you're going to get the table back. The, the real problem is what it does to the American team's confidence. They're kind of at a low ebb today. They lost 3 2 the first yep. day, and they're on the verge of losing 4 to 1 the second day. Well, the past history of the Moscone Cup is the team that wins day two loses day three. But this is a, this would be a huge lead. <laughs> it's going to be hard to grab that back. But it can be done. We've seen it done before. Yep. Just have to take every match as it comes. Here's the nine ball down for a two to nothing lead now. Darren won earlier today with Carl Boyce's partner. Now he's back with Nick Van Valkenburg. You can see what's been happening here today. America took the first match looking good. But then Albin Ocean claimed the second match. The team of Appleton and Boys claimed number three. And Boys stayed out there to defeat Skyler Woodward five to three. Now Darren Appleton and Nick Vandenberg are enjoying a nice two to nothing lead over DeShane and Van Boning. And it's, remember, it's just a race to five. There's our European boys. Nick Van Valkenburg to break. Thank you, rack three. <clears throat> Europe to break. Leading two racks to nil. Vandenberg to you take them second, apart. Please. Watch the one ball. Boy, One ball misses one. the side pocket. And this is going to be a dry break. At least America has an opportunity, but they're starting with a very long shot and very low confidence. Well, Vandenberg gave him a chance. Nice Mike DeShane. Eyeing up a long shot on the one ball. Wow. He rifled that ball in. But I don't know what Shane can do here. Can he play a billiard from the two to the six? That's all I see is a billiard from the two to the six. Take a look at this. That cue ball was hopping all over the place. So was the object ball. He made it. He made it and he got shape on the two. Good shot. USA has been plagued by unable to get out with open wrecks. Well, this is a nice rack for them to break that spell. No big problems here. This is really USA's Extension last call. hope here. If they could find a way to pull this match out and pull within four to six, 
They'll feel like they're still in the running tomorrow. Van Boning wants to make sure he leaves a path so that DeShane can get from the four to the five without running into any of that traffic down there around the four. That's what he wants to do, slide to the right. This is good. You know, the hard part, Jerry, is going to be getting from the five to the seven. Yeah. But first, let's get from the four to the five, out two rails. Well, do you play for short side shape here, or do you put load that ball up with right? He wants to come down there. See where he put his cue on the table? He wants to play two rails position. This is not an easy out, these last four balls. Looks like he got there. The cue ball comes far enough off the rail not to present any problems. He put Mike in a perfect spot here. All good so far. One ball away from putting a mark up. Job done. America trails in this match two to one. And they really need to come back and win this one. If they can win this, they'll go into the night only trailing by two. If they lose it, they'll be trailing by four. Huge turn of events. There's the nine ball that brought the bacon home. Not much to cheer about today for Team USA. In the background, you see. Okay. Mike to Shane to break him up. Rack to two. Nice and quiet then, please. Ball's down. Shot at the two. Yes, indeed. Three Great. balls went on that break. Ball's falling everywhere. There goes the five. Last ball ends the eight ball. Yeah, this could be a confidence builder. That five ball still spinning. Yeah, and the five ball is the big problem on the table that's left. The way it's tucked in behind the six. Pretty tentative stroke there by Shane. Well, Mike DeShane would like to bring this cue ball out to a round center table so that Shane can cut the five into the corner. You just can't afford to come up short. He did a nice job there. That was pretty. Shane's got to be real careful if he bumps the six ball. A little bit tricky right here on the position. Yeah, he's got to make sure he leaves a shot on the six. Oh, he went around it. Good job. The heavy lifting's been done. Solidly struck. This looks like a stop shot right here. It does. It was. And this to tie us at two. Mike DeShane puts away the second nine ball of this match for our Team America. They're tied at two. It's now a race to three, and the crowd is really getting into it. The Team USA crowd is really trying to pull their boys along.
Welcome back to Vegas and the Moscone Cup and Team USA are fighting back. They trail their European rivals by three points overall. And in this match, they have now leveled the score. Commentary from Jerry Forsyth and Jay Helford. Thank you, Rack 5. Europe to break. 2-2. Two, two. Darren Appleton prepares the break shot. Great break shot here. Great break shot. Shouldn't be too many problems here. Just wants to clear the four ball. Yep. You don't want the four ball to get in play, and he did it. <laughs> We've had some close matches today, but they all seem to be going Europe's way. Yeah, America's made mistakes at very critical moments, unexpected mistakes. And there's the concerned Mark Wilson, captain of the American team. He fell a little short there. Yeah, this just got tough. They do have an extension left to use if they wish. But there was never enough juice on this ball. I wonder if Nix wants to try to cut this ball on the side. He missed one like that earlier today. Extension cold. Yeah, he's going to shoot it in the corner and go around the table three rails. Well, there's a little bit of traffic down there to avoid, but he should be able to stay clear. He wants to go all the way around the table and shoot the six in the side. Oh, he's going to take the six in the end. The problem with this shot, it's not going to be easy for Darren to get him a shot on the seven. I think he's just going to try and hold it right there where the six is now, right around that area. I think he'll right. for the longer shot. Good call, Jerry. That should be able to provide enough room for Mr. Vandenberg. He'd like to end up about the middle of the table. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Europe makes an unexpected error. And what an opportunity. Vandenberg is in Wonderama. He cannot believe he missed that shot. You cannot take anything for granted on these tight pockets. Even the simplest shot can be missed. He just hit too much ball here. Yeah, there, this is, there's no doubt this is the tightest table these gentlemen have ever played a tournament on. For the lead. Yeah. And Shane Van Boning puts away the nine ball and gains America a narrow 3 2 lead. Vandenberg still shaking his head over that miss. He just doesn't understand what happened. He thought he aimed it well. He stroked it well. And the cue ball did not hit the right place. Little lapse of concentration and a gift back to Team USA. To Shane. Oh. Shane to break? Okay. I knew it was USA breaking. There you take another look at that shot. It was just never going to go. It's you know, Jerry, well out of the pocket. You know, it's one of those shots where all he was thinking about was position. Yeah. 
Yeah you can't do that here. And you can see Mr. Appleton cannot believe is either. What an opportunity for Take Team USA. USA to break. This has been a problem for them Leading all day is making two. a ball on the break and getting a Get shot. Then, That's been a big difference for Team Europe today. Their break has been much more effective. Again, empty break. Shane can't believe it. He cannot make a ball on the break. Fortunately, the one is hidden by the nine ball. Missed the one. Yeah, and the, after the one missed the side pocket, it got kicked around the table, and now it lays solid behind the nine ball. Push out situation. I don't know. The way these boys have been jumping. They just might choose to take it on. Mm. Well, that's an easy save, though, isn't it? Hmm? Right with that, are we pushing to a jump? Yeah. You think? Do I jump it? But they can jump it anyway. Yeah, push to a jump. Yeah. Uh, push. Push out cold. They were deciding, do we push or do we jump? And they've opted to push. Ooh, now they got to jump. I believe they'll get this one back. Oh, yeah. Even if you jump and hit okay, it, so I also the chances of making it are small. Go. Yeah, you can scratch well, and you'll go down. Back. Back. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Team USA wasted no time in giving his shot back to Europe. Darren should hit it okay, but extension cold. He's got to get a lot of elevation to get over that nine ball. It's a full nine ball to jump here. He has to worry about that cue ball bouncing off of the table. You know, Jerry, if he should make this ball, the two is in a perfect position. Oh, yeah. But he's got to make it. Tough jump shot. Yeah. What a fantastic shot. We have seen some of the best jump shots that I've ever seen today. And look at the look at the layout now. Looks pretty juicy for Team Europe from here. Take another look at this jump shot. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. And perfect position on the two. Now it's all out there for the taking. The four, the five, the six. Very you easy. You think Shane's wishing he'd have taken that jump shot now? Uh, I think he is, yeah. Not much to do on this shot. A stop is just fine, although he'll probably slide over just a hair to the left. Yeah, he actually cheated the pocket to be able to slide to the left. Now Darren's only decision is how much angle to leave himself on the six. This time he's using the table bridge. He doesn't want to take the time to get his bridge. They have used their extension. He just showed Nick where he wants that cue ball, which is roughly halfway between the six and the seven. That's perfect right there. Yep. That's going to be nice. Darren can probably shoot a stop shot right there and let Nick shoot the uh, eight in the side, the other side. Yep. Should be headed for a tie game. Once again, the empty break by Drop USA it. is going to end up costing them. Yeah, with that angle. Yeah, play your shot. He's going to have to draw, draw back to shoot the nine all the way up in the far corner, I think. Let's see. 
Maybe he can come straight back. Yeah, he's, yeah. Boy, he couldn't have delayed that in there any better. That was a beautiful little shot there. And we are tied at three. A big, big fake. It's going to be decided by these final racks. America needs it a lot worse than Europe does. They're looking happy now. And they're breaking. A little longer than he did. We're going to take another look at this jump shot. Seems like we're doing that a lot today, taking second looks at jump shots. Couldn't have hit it any better than that. You see how high that ball went? Yeah, ball and then was... it really contacted the one ball in the perfect place to keep from jumping that cue ball off the table. What a feel it takes to do that. Fantastic touch in the crowd is just not going to be quiet. Vandenberg to break. Gentleman in the red coat there is Jerry Bryseth, one of the premier instructors three, in the world. Three, three. He was the first master instructor ever nominated by the Billiard Congress of America. He held that cue ball real nice. And they've got a ball Looking down, up. but the one ball isn't a gift. You know, I think Darren's going to bank this one up into the seven ball, Jerry. I, I think he will. He banks real good, too, besides shooting jump shots. Yeah. He's a good banker. He really is. Well, if you remember in the past, he's won games for, my, for Team Europe with bank shots. Well, with that seven ball there. Oh, look, he played safe instead. Well, this is a great safety here. Well, USA will be having a discussion here. Let's see if we can hear what they have to say. Yeah, what about just spinning it and behind it? Soft. Hmm? Extension. Extension cold. A little spinning behind it and yeah, yeah, yeah. soft. Oops, sorry. That's what Shane's going to try to do. Go off the end rail, left English, spin into the one. This shot must be hit properly or you're going to give up a shot at the one here. You've got to hit it pretty full and pretty soft. Let's see. There's no rail. That's ball in hand. Yep. That's the problem with that shot. You've got to contact a rail. You, either the cue ball or the object ball must hit a rail after contact. And even though he hit the one ball, see, watch this. There's no rail contacted after the cue ball hits the one. The one hits the rail, then the ball, and neither ball hits a rail. That is ball in hand. Now a 2-7 combination. The problem here, of course, is getting the shot on the two. And Darren doesn't like it because the two's going to be moving out toward the foot rail. And the six ball gets in the way there. He's got to get that cue ball off the rail, too. Yeah, he's got to get the cue ball out there. A little bit towards the middle of the table. Like, yeah, two diamonds out would be good. Extension. Extension cold. I think he needs to go forward with the cue ball and get it off the rail. Then he'll have a shot. Because after that two ball contacts the seven, it's going to go towards the six. Oh, he opted just hit it super slow. But look at this. This is no good. Uh -huh. 
Well Nick's got to come with something here. Just put the two ball there pal. He was just trying to Kissing get the two six. ball to stop there but too much Ten energy seconds. in it. Well he wants to hold the cue ball against the six and send the two up table like that. Sharp. Well he did about the best he could there. Now DeShane can back bank the two ball back up to this end of the table and put the cue ball right behind the eight. Settle down please. The tragedy there would be if he made the two ball and played a, plays a safe on himself. We've seen that happen before. Go for the corner. No extension. He's only got six seconds left. Oh my God. I don't think he's going to like this. What kind of shot was that? Well, he ran out of time. Didn't have time to properly get down on the shot and address the ball. He ran out of gas, too. Well, that's uh, probably the worst safety of the day right there. I don't know why he didn't do what you said. He could have crossed that ball, set the two all the way down table on the rail where the six is. This is like, you know, Jerry, this is the third game that they've gifted to Team pump. Europe. Stay down. Yeah, you got to keep one eye on the clock. You can't just let it run down to where you don't have time to properly address the ball. The most disappointed man in the room this week is Shane Van Boning. He has not played up to his level. Yep. Well, Mike needed to get up there and shoot that ball. 30 seconds is not a long time. This will put Europe on the hill. One game away from a huge seven to three overnight lead. USA will break next game. <laughs> this for a four three lead. Done. Four to three for Europe. European crowd very happy. Americans silent. Welcome back to the Tropicana in Vegas for the final match on day two of the Moscone Cup. Europe have edged ahead and are looking to extend their overall lead, but the pressure is on for both sides. Commentary for this match comes from Jay Helford and Jerry Forsythe. This is now the eighth rack. We are, of course, at the Tropicana in Las Vegas, and the European team and the European side are having a great time at the moment. And you can see the mood on the American side. Somebody asked me earlier, Jay, uh, Jerry, that this beautiful, this, this beautiful jersey these guys are wearing are provided by UltimateTeamGear.com. They provide the jerseys for both teams, but a lot of the audience are wearing them too, like that guy right there. Well, Nick is here. We're waiting for Darren. He won't be far behind. And Nick is ready to get started. He's not even taking his seat. Well, it's USA's break shot. They need to come up with a good break one time in this match. Well, you've got the guy coming to the table who has a good break. Team Europe making all that noise. Here comes Darren. Back into the arena. The gladiator has returned.
things are kind of getting a little bit desperate now for Team USA. Look at rack eight. A little bit. USA to break. Training they three have got to take Settle the next down, two please. racks to have any kind of comfort tonight. Good break. And a shot at the one. But as we've seen earlier in this match, USA has had trouble getting out even when they get an open rack. Mistakes have plagued them in this match. Well, there's a path to every ball. Shane went past his position point. Now the cue ball is moving away from the three. The three, of course, the red ball down on this end of the table. Is Mike going to load up on this one and try to go all? Yeah, I think well, so. Well, he may just go forward and take the, the longer shot. Nope, no, he's, he's trying to go three rails. Will he get there? I think. Look at his shot. Great shot. That's his best shot of the match. Can Shane do the same for Mike now? Look at the juice on that ball. He put the whip to that one. Shane Van Boning takes the three into the corner, sends the cue ball up table for the five to go into the four to go into the same corner. I'm not sure the six will pass the seven. I think Mike's oh the six passes the seven. There's room. Yeah. Well, they got to hold it together here. Ultimately, they all want to end up with a pretty straight in shot on the eight ball. A four time U.S. Open champion. He won three in a row. Only man ever to do so. Mike's pretty straight on this one. He'll probably just draw it back a little ways. Like that. Nicely done. That's actually a good angle for Shane to get the cue ball off the rail. Yeah, we should be going to double hill. If Shane can make this ball. And what a critical rack the last one will be. Sit and hope for a chance to get to the table. Great position off of this two ball. You see see his, his ball spinning? He really spun that ball. We're going to take another look from the overhead so you can see just how fast that ball was moving. He had to hit it like that. Here comes Darren to break, the last break of the match. Team Europe will either be down, four please. matches ahead or two matches ahead at the end of this game. Another good break, but no shot at the two. Europe's going to have to push out. Well, that lit a little candle of hope in the American heart. That's the two all the way up table here. Closest to the top rail. Or the near rail. Push out. Push out cold. Nick's going to push out over the right hand side of the table. As you see it. And 
this America is, can take it or give it back. It's hard to give this one back when you can see the edge of the ball, but tough call. Look, keep on going right down here. That's the only way he's going to do it. Give it back. Mm -hmm. You want to give it back? Shane wants to give it back. Ten seconds. They pass. Well, the last time they gave it back, it did not work out in their favor. What Shane says, it's hard for them to play a safety from there. This guy's made some good safeties today, though. If they get safe out of this, USA is going to be beating their head against the wall. Sure. All right. Now, if they try to cut this two ball into the corner, the nine ball is going to be rolling toward the corner pocket. That's what Shane's looking at. Extension call. In fact, the billiard onto the nine may be easier. You can see how we got into this position. Watch where the two ball winds up. That's a nice position to billiard that nine into the corner. He'd like that two ball to be a little bit higher because you've got to really clip the top edge of the nine ball here. But if he moves the two ball down to the head end of the table, he's got blockers over that corner pocket. I kind of like this. Shane is shooting at it. See how he's trying to go a little bit low on the cue ball. He's going to hit the nine. Oh! of the day to bring the total score to 6-4. What a huge shot from Shane Van Boning. Listen to this crowd. They finally got something to go crazy about, and they are going absolutely mad. America lives. Europe has the lead, but it's not huge. Oh, man. Finally got a shot. Finally, Shane is smiling. Is this another significant moment for Team Europe? For the second day running, they take an overnight lead. But it could so easily have been a more emphatic lead than the two points that it currently stands at. Mike DeShane and Shane Van Boning fought their way back into that last doubles match and took the deciding rack to keep Team USA in contention in the Party Poker Moscone Cup of 2015.